Alright guys, so we found some dragons. Oh man. I don't know how I can fight them. I guess I got a slingshot. So... Nope, he killed me. <laughs> Did yeah, you I was start the fight? Or? No, I was standing there. I was just standing there um, looking for the hole. <laughs> and I hear this. Rrr, I turn around and I'm doing fire. Yeah. You know what I should okay. do? Just make a bed roll. <laughs> well, okay. at least we're close enough that, you know, we're not. Ow! Yeah, weren't you the one that was saying that this was a better, like, a more defensible spot? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, dragons change everything, don't they? Hello, everyone. My name is Dredden, and we are in here with Haladmer. And, uh, <laughs> um, we are in a medieval mod for Some Days to Die, <laughs> and we are going to go full evil. How's it going, Hal? Uh, I'm doing pretty good. Better than she is. Yeah. Look at oh. that. One hit. <laughs> good job. Gonna loot that one. Uh, we were gonna Trying get to. uh, Frederick over here, but Frederick died, and so. Oh, we, there's yeah. another pitchfork for her. Oh, nice. Would you, like, would you like a pitchfork? I would love a pitchfork, sir. There you go. So pitchfork. for the folks who are playing, yeah. So for the folks who are watching, as you can see, I have a uh, is that broken or twisted? I'm not sure which one's sprained. It's only sprained. Uh, so I will be slowly healing that because we don't have <laughs> the med skills. I can't make the uh, splint. Actually, can I? Maybe I can. Let me see if I have the materials. I do not have the materials. Oh crap, you need leather for the splints. Yeah, I haven't figured out how to make leather yet, so. Well, you know, we have a, uh, a human corpse up here. <laughs> yeah. But I think it's uh -huh. a little more complicated than normal. We've I don't know, but I'm gonna start picking up all the chairs. That's fair. We basically um, looted this entire place. <laughs> um, already, this is an inn. I guess it's sort of our our inn now because it's we've done everything to we could possible to it. Oh, yes. this is a neat we little have, area. You cleaned it. You know, I have a feeling there's something up here hidden. That would kind of make sense, eh? Uh, mm. let's see. Like here. right over that over those logs. I bet. We think. Yeah. Should we? Uh, uh, should we try for it? Yeah. I'm gonna hack through a wall here. Yeah, I was doing that too. So, <laughs> yeah, so I'm not sure what we're gonna do, guys, entirely. I mean, I think we're gonna try to get up to some kind of shenanigans. Oh, yeah, we don't need to, like. They set the, um. Over crawl collision. Oh, this isn't gonna work. Oh, and we did it. You know, there's nothing did you get up, up here. There? Yeah, I'm up here. Oh. All right. Yeah, there's nothing up here. Can we eat this? No. Yeah, so um, we, were, we were messing around before we started recording, and I broke a hole in the wall, and there's this little ledge right there. And uh, when I came out, I crawled out through the hole, which, for those who are familiar with Seven Days to Die, normally you can't climb through one tall blocks like that. Uh, for the purposes of this mod, apparently they have disabled that. We can actually climb through one block squares now. You just have to crouch. And watch your head. <laughs> yep. All right, I'm gonna grab some uh, lumber really quick. Sounds good. I've just been hacking up all the different small little trees that I've found along the way, so I've got some. Yep. Oh, okay. Now we're also mm -hmm. right by this snow biome house, so you're gonna have to watch out for ice golems up here. Ice golems. Ice golems. Are you yep. kidding me? Really? That is awesome. <laughs> yep. And it's also heading north, so probably some good stuff up there. Um, I think I might try to appropriate this here house. There's a guy. Are you are you looting things? Um, nope. I wouldn't do that. Hmm. I have a feeling some of this is going to be more valuable than things. So... Empty, Frederick. I'm gonna eat this stuff really quick. Too. I found some uh, yucca fruit. Nice. Yucca fruit is gonna move ya. <laughs> it's like a wooden tent thing. Weird little house. Yeah, I'm just uh, just over the way here. Over the right. wee hill hill. I see ya. 
So, um, I should probably find some more rocks and make some more slingshot parts. Um, um here, I should give you some intestine bits, Hal. Well, my, my inventory is mostly full at this point. Oh, okay. I'm playing this like I play Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so for the folks who are watching from my side, the bird's nest, the, the mod, <clears throat> excuse me, the mod author or authors, I should say, um, it's a, appears to be a group effort from a lot of some of the better known modders uh, for Seven Days to Die. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to go through because I don't want to misquote who is or is not actively <laughs> participating in it. Uh, but yeah, it's it's rather nuts with the amount of stuff that's over in the game. They've imported a lot of new models, as you can see. A lot of the small rock models have changed. New birds' nests. Um, the POIs have been updated, so everything is themed. Yep, that's right. And I see a ram over here. Yep. So yeah, uh, new animals. There are horses. I found one when we were, like I said, before we were recording, I was messing around in single player and uh, I got spawned inside of one of the towns and there was a, um, it was a stable. And after I looted the stable, there was a horse. The horse was basically a, a container. So when I looted him, he went pop, but I got a free horse out of it. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I don't have a horse anymore. Yeah. No such luck on this server yet. Well, this game yet. Sorry, Tilly. Had to do it. And same with that, Joan. Joan had some <laughs> coin. That's about it. Oh, nice. Tilly didn't have anything. Ah. Let's see here. I only saw a couple other people around. They all seem to have gone. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it looks like you spooked one of them. I was getting ready to kill her, and she saw... I guess she saw you kill somebody. Yeah. And she, like, ran away. And since I have a broken ankle, I can't... Or a sprained leg, I can't chase her. Yeah. That's too bad. Well, I mean, there's a house Come over here. here. Seems Come to here. have an external cooking... Really? An external... There you go. Campfire uh, okay, cooker. So oh, I can see this is going to be a lot of fun on this playthrough. <laughs> now, for the, the folks wondering why we're doing this, um, I had been saying I wanted to do some, you know, something a little bit more RPG-ish. And Adretton was like, well, have you checked out the medieval mod? I was like, no. So mm. we uh, loaded it up and I was just like, oh, this is, yeah. Oh. It's Elder Scrolls in the Seven Days to Die universe. This pitchfork is awesome. I like the range on it. Yeah, I know, and it's a one-shot kill on anything that isn't armored. Yeah. Uh, speaking of armor, um, yeah, I got attacked by a raider. <laughs> so, <laughs> after killing the raider, I've got uh, full plate items. So, um, yeah, I did notice that the armor does impact your speed, your movement. Oh, okay. I really need a cooking so, pot. I've got a couple. How would you like... Hmm. The, the inn had basically all of our cooking supplies. Oh, okay, good. Ah, corn. Nice. Get some more of that. Basically, yeah, this is um, one of the new houses. And, uh, if, I mean, if you're new to my channel, you've seen a bit of it in my game. Um, but we're going to be playing a little more evil and uh, <laughs> exploring some more of these POIs in more depth. Um, Hopsy. Uh, you know what? And I believe in the future versions, there's going to be more furniture and stuff in some of these POIs. It's just uh, right now it didn't all happen, so... Did you want the cook pot or the... Oh, wow. No, you don't even need the cooking. Yeah, I think for this type of one back here, you don't need to. Yeah, it's because you use a cook pot to make these. Uh, okay. It's a campfire cook pot and wood, I believe. Okay. So in order to make a jar of clean water, we need glass jars. Yeah, and I haven't seen a glass jar yet. I've got a jar of fermented cornmeal. What's this do? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's a grain alcohol. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, I'm trying to find leather. Yeah. Mushrooms. Did and you go inside and clear it out already? I did, yeah. Ooh. There's some nice stuff in here. Yeah, maybe I didn't quite clear it out as much as I could have. 
And Fumer, don't need it. Okay. No, I'm not worried about that. I'm just saying the, the house itself is actually pretty nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. The models are... Oh, there's a deer. Slingshot. Nice. Or maybe, maybe... Oh, it saw me. Maybe. Okay, so there's a lower house. Is there anything upstairs? Oh, I missed. Okay, I'm actually liking this. I think you've... <laughs> we should just take this house over and use this as our base. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's nighttime. Yeah, and it's free. Yeah. Unless we want to run around at night, but... It's a good base uh, when you can make food, and that's one of the most important things, right? Yeah. Food and drink. Plus, we're pretty close to that uh, area with the snow, so we'll be pretty well off. As soon as we can find a glass jar... Yeah, I'm wondering if we can make them. Well, I'm assuming we can make them. It's just I'm not sure if it's something that we need uh, a skill for or not. Right, yeah. All right, so let me take a look and see what we can make here. Under buildings. We can make barrel temples. Nice. Uh, oh, let's yeah, see here. Beast. I can actually make storage. We should probably make a couple of different storage items at some point. Yeah. Just to see what ha what has how much inventory. Yeah. That would make sense. Uh, windows. What do we need for windows? I might be able to get this gear. I don't run out of slingshot ammo. All right. So did you say yes? We're going to keep this house. Sure. Okay. I'm going to replace the uh, the broken windows with actual windows yeah i got it hal i got us dinner nice congratulations yeah. sir um we probably should well i guess you have full plate mail so it doesn't matter i might have to make some hide armor if i, can. I don't have full plate i need legs <laughs> ah, okay <laughs> it's like the one piece of plate mail i'm <laughs> broken glass broken glass uh oh I am going to make so hide. You also notice the sounds are a lot different, and I find them way creepier. Okay, so all the other okay. stuff requires something to make them. And we need three of these. Honey, what am I going to trade honey for? Hmm. I should come back and uh, I don't need rotting flesh right now. Drop off all the stuff I've got. Yeah, so if you come into the upstairs area, um, I have replaced the windows, so we are actually, in theory, Insulated. Cool. Um, there you are, I think. Oh, it's a different house. Hmm. I have torches up in the house over here. Ooh. Can't see them from out here yet, but that's okay. Where are you going, guys? Is this your house? No, I don't. I don't have any space. We'll be back. So I really want to find some goblins and dragons and such. Uh, that was. Oh, hello. There you are. <laughs> yeah. I haven't fixed the downstairs area yet. No Do we need four? I'm gonna go ahead and fix the downstairs area while we're here. Okay. Hmm. Chest. There we go. This is awesome. <laughs> okay, what don't I likely need? I mean, Basically only need three. everything. If 
definitely need more slingshot bullets. Uh, recipes on that. Stone arrow. To make a bow. We can make a bow, can't we? Peasant's bow? Oh, right, it's leather. That's right. All right. I'm going to start throwing some of the, like the, the general food items and plants and stuff into the uh, storage down here. Okay, cool. I'm throwing, I don't know, stuff that's not immediately sort of useful kind of up here. Okay. Since we have the cooking stove down here, I'm going to put the uh, cooking uh, a cooking pot in that. Sounds good to me. All right. You are more plant life. Chest and a medieval chest. Mm. The hell is that? <laughs> it's one of the weird random sounds. Actually, I probably need this for a quest still, so I'm gonna leave that on me. Oh, I just... Lead can go away. Yeah. Can awesome. I scrap things? No, we can't scrap things. Well, Ooh. we can scrap books. Ah, all right. And I need a new bed roll, and there we go. Okay, so downstairs is uh, set up. Cool. Actually. Um, where am I going to put this bed roll? Is there enough space there. up here? There. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's all sorts of room upstairs, like if you're in the uh, the loft area. I like the loft area. Be nice and warm. Yeah, I think I'm going to claim the uh, the basement. Sounds good. These are all your Hello. barrels. What's up? Where yeah, I just yeah, yeah, I just put them up there to get them out of my inventory. Cool. Right, and we've got a femur. So we have the cooking pot outside. We have the stove inside. The the oven, I guess, inside. Yeah, this will uh, this will work nicely, actually. Yeah, I think so. I am also being a bit uh, evil right now. I'm going to go raid another house. Goodbye, oh, Ruth. Wait, I'll come. I'll come with you. <laughs> okay. I'm just basically getting all of the extra stuff out of my inventory. Make sure oh, I keep no that. I'm mostly just being evil, um, killing peasants right now. Can I make seeds out of the snow? But I can eat them, so we'll keep those. Let's see, two peasants uh, and a stove in there. I guess. Oh, so there's uh, there's going? elixirs and stuff in here. Nice. Yeah. All right. So where did you go? I'm just at one of the houses you can see from where uh, we are. Ah, there. Yeah. Mostly just taking out the peasants. Rah. Works for me. Hey, right. she had gold. Hmm. Oh, also, Hal, look up and check out the moon. <laughs> okay, that is rather awesome. Yeah. That's what I thought, too. Everyone's running away from me. Yeah, Why are you running away? Ah. Don't run away, Dolores. What? She had arrows, a torch, and three gold. I just got two goblin blood. Nice! Did you kill a goblin? No, I just... Uh, some guy had two vials of it. That's rather vile. Yeah. Uh, Come here, you. Or they even say it was twice as vile. <laughs> yeah. Apparently this is not the house you went into. No? I didn't go into a house. Oh, I, I feel just... bad. I just killed an NPC named Shirley. Oh, that's too bad. She yeah. might like this. She might actually really like this. I think <laughs> it's, it, it's Skyrim in Seven Days to Die. Yeah. This is awesome. Okay, okay so I picked up some honey. I got seven raw meat, some gold. So, uh... Yeah. Is there anywhere else in here to go? So, 
Let's do it that way, apparently. Oh, hey, how's it going? That's good. Yes, yeah, so um, our neighbors over here uh, like to sleep outside. Don't don't pay any attention to them. <laughs> yeah. They're just sleeping. Yeah. I'm thinking I might want to go on an adventure up to the top of that there hill after I make some more slingshot uh, ammo. Yeah. Would you like me to make you a slingshot? Um, that's okay. Okay. Let's hey, Sarah. See. Nice to meet you. <laughs> do, 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 do. So, uh, yeah, apparently the NPCs do notice when you are evil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Which I guess is good. Uh, I actually need to make another uh, bedroll. Oh, yeah. I forgot to bring my other one with me. Yeah, I made a separate one, too. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is grab there. the rest of this stuff, make my, my bedroll. But after I make the bedroll, I think uh, I'm going to sit down and take a look at the skills menu. So oh, yeah. that way, if, you know, if people are interested, we can actually walk through what we can do in this game and what some of the recipes are and things like that. Because there's a lot that has been added to this game. Yeah. Like, it, it's, it is rather frightening how much stuff the, the uh, mod team is doing with this. <coughs> Let me grab a little bit more... Everyone, I apologize. I have a bit of a cold, so uh, I'm trying to keep it under control, but we'll see how it all goes. Hello, Robert. Goodbye, Robert. Thank you for the gold. Kind of surprised I haven't seen any ice golems. He turns around and there's one standing there looking at you. <gasps> oh, there's a, there's a deer and I have no ranged weapons. Oh, it's like you might have needed a slingshot or something. I need, I need an arrow is what I need with a bow. Uh, let me see. Do I have enough to make... Helps if I spell it correctly. Doesn't spell. No, you need leather. Yep. Ornate ruined bow. Soldier's bow. Yeah. Take a look through the weapons. There's a whole crap ton of them. That is crazy. And there's magic weapons, too. Oh, there's a lake. A lake. Good. Nice. God. Orcish longbow, short or long blade, short sword. Uh, please tell me they've. No, there's no dwarven stuff. Um, no, but I. Yeah. Hmm. You know what? If I you're gonna do fantasy. A big town over there. Because it's next to the lake. Uh, well, it's not next to the lake, but it's nearby. A big, big flat plain. Ah. Uh. Then, yeah, probably. All right, I'm gonna head back into the house. Um, hmm. And then for those who are watching, yes, uh, there are no zombies in the game, but there are hostile creatures. There are goblins, there are orcs. Uh, I think there might be a dragon somewhere. Yes, sir. Okay, I... Oh, dang. Did you see me? Of course you probably mm -hmm. saw me. Um, I might be bringing a friend home. Maybe I should just run. That's did you? Probably did you? Me. You found your snow golem, didn't you? No. Why do I not believe you? <laughs> I don't know how. I well, have this feeling there's going to be like this giant golem chasing you for some reason. No, I, apparently he's not following me, which is good because. The only time I ran into one, I didn't actually kill it. Uh, it fell down a well. And we don't have a well available, so... Oh, maybe we can dig one. I'm looking for the parts to make a rudimentary lathe as it... Ah, yes. Yeah, if actually, the, I think building pits work pretty well for trapping NPCs. Good to know. Hmm. Spiked pits? <clears throat> I just normal pits seem to work all right. Yeah, but why build normal pits when you can build evil spiked pits? Mm, good point. Good point. All right. <laughs> I'm going to grab some lumber and then we're going to head. I like how there's just like these random spikes in the middle of nowhere. 
Yeah. I'm not really sure what the thing of that is. Um, the reason behind it. I like to think that they're kind of like modern day landmines just left behind from some old war. Yeah, well, based on the fact that there's supposed to be like goblin raids and things going on in um, I'm thinking that it's probably associated with the goblins. Yeah. Basically, they're either from the goblins or defenses against the goblins. Yeah. Let's see. Two people are in that part of the house. Hi. Ah. Why do you sound like you're ah. casing a place? Ah. Um. <laughs> I might be casing a place, but I won't actually admit to it. Just, just gonna put that out there. <laughs> Come on, Olivia. What do you have? Ooh, ogre blood. Nice. Yeah. She's got the good stuff there. Wooden chest. A torch. Apparently, I just uh, encountered two twin sisters named Ruth. Hmm. Both of them were named Truth. Okay. I guess it could happen. Oh boy, he's coming after me. I wasn't ready for that. He just wants me to close his door. No, Shane or Jacob, don't do it. Holy crap, he had a lot of stuff on him. Nice. I love the fact that they have like just random stuff on the NPCs. Yeah. Makes it so much better. Yep. I think it's Can I get to you before you run away? 119 coins so far. Oh, I've got a glass jar. Nice. Yeah, we're saved. We can not die of thirst. In theory. Yeah, in theory. <laughs> Whoa. Ouch. Beatrice. Man, she hits hard. Yeah. Oh, I just got weapons. Nice. What did you get? Um, I got a blue dagger and a purple peasant's bow. Oh, beautiful. So you can actually make, um, I've got 43 feathers on me for arrows. Yeah, I've got 15 on me, but I dropped like uh, 30 or 40 in the house. So nice. Actually, I don't think there's anything in that plane other than just small houses. Hmm. Yeah, that's all right. And what is that? Oh, just a weird looking rock. Oh, just got some armor, uh, like different miscellaneous stuff. Okay. Low tier stuff, but high quality. So don't run away. You're just going to die tired. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna head back in because I think I've evoked the uh, evil spirits or something. Hmm. All right. I'm just so... looking at north. Oh, that's that truth. Cool. It's in here. Some peasants. Yeah, I don't feel like I need to kill you. I can make a bunch of stone arrows, so I'm going to go ahead and make those. What are my quests? <clears throat> For the Holy Grail? What? Yeah, I've got some quests still that I should probably find. Find plants. Okay. There we go. Let's make this one. So our... the, the wooden chest in here. Mm-hmm. Actually, um, where you go? Let's wear the hutch. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I was gonna say the chest downstairs. I've uh, I'm dropping some Wonder. like the miscellaneous gear. Okay. That is twenty-three. So the dagger is actually useful. Um, you can do you can do criticals with it, and it has a forty percent chance to bleed out. Huh. What is that? So thing? it's a it's a little less damage than the uh, pitchfork. Okay. At least the pitchfork I'm using. I don't know about you, but I, I put it in the chest downstairs. So. Okay. 
Oh, it's just a pig. Oh, God. All the food stuff. My, um... I think I'm gonna... Oh. does entity damage of 22. Yeah, so the, uh... The... Um... The dagger yeah. might not be bad for you, then. Okay. Let's, uh, scale this here, Cliff, if we can. Yeah. Right, okay, oops. so boiled meat. Come on. Eat stew. Okay, so it looks like, for the most part, the um, the the recipes, like yeah. the actual recipes, haven't changed. Okay. But I do like the fact that you don't need to have specific cooking gear in the the fires. You just have to have the cooking gear to make the the uh, the items. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I can't cook anything. All right, so for the folks that are playing along at home, let's start at the top we're gonna go through you can actually see some of the things that you can make here um we've got like the chest the bullets no. alchemy bench don't we need the alchemy bench we actually have everything we need for the alchemy bench oh really yeah cool well we just need to make the campfire oh okay sounds good um i'm just trying to get this enormous hill here so yeah Took the kind of silly way, thinking I could get up here. It often works in <laughs> works in vanilla, but uh, no, no, no. Yeah. The sort of cliff hopping thing is not going to work right now. Nice. Yeah. So, um, like we were saying earlier, the the mod authors or the, the contributors to the mod have been making a lot of uh, unique and custom icons as well as models, as you can see from like some of the tables and things in the game. Uh, that includes the furnace, which replaces the old forge. You know, you have an oven that replaces the uh, the basic campfire. You still have campfires, obviously, but you also have like the ovens and things. Uh, so this is basically replaces the need to have a grill in your campfire. You basically would have just the oven. Normal stuff. Oh, you can make Taza axes. Yep. Nice. Yeah. For those who don't know, the Taza axe is a... Uh, a rare unique item in the game. I shouldn't say unique, it's just a very rare item. It's a stone axe oh, that basically takes the best of the fire axe and the pickaxe, combines it into one thing and gives you the speed of the uh, the stone axe. Yep. The workbench. Ooh. All new, all sorts of new tables, a lot of the things that you've seen before, wood frames and different wood goods, flagstone items. Uh, the alchemy bench again. Land claims. Oh, uh, resources. You have a couple of new items in here. We have dried intestine. You have the uh, these are vials of animal blood. Dragon, goblin, ichor, which I'm assuming you're going to get from the uh, insects, specifically the spiders. Yeah. Troll. Orc and ogre. Man, this is nice. <laughs> yeah. So look at... Oh, there is dwarven axes. It takes a recipe to learn it, though. Yeah, well, that's all right. I mean, yeah. I, I, I don't know how to build one right now. Man, the, there's the sheer amount of stuff that you can build. That always makes a mod great. Like, it just sets it apart from other things, right? Yeah. And one of the things that they did that I like um, is they took the electricity system out. Hmm, yeah. I guess they could build some sort of magical equivalent of it, but... Well, I think that... I think you can. But I'm looking at the, the tools and traps. There's nothing under there. So I'm wondering if it might be under, um, like, the regular resources or crafting. Right. But I mean, look at all the stuff that you can do in here. There's lettuce, a uh, jar of beer, which is, yeah, it looks like, well, wheat, I guess. Mm. 
So wheat lettuce. Um, that looks like that's it for the new stuff in the plants. There's a cure bite potion, snowberry poison. There's actually a couple of potions that I don't know. <laughs> yeah, there you go. The elixirs. So you have elixir of fortitude, haste, rejuvenation. Strong elixir of fortitude, rejuvenation. Dragon's breath, I'm assuming, allows you to breathe fire. That would be cool. And a vial of poison. I mean, just look at this stuff. Wool caps. So there's actually <laughs> wool clothing, clothing now. That is awesome. They did a really good job with this. Yeah. Yeah, I've been waiting for hey. it for weeks. Yeah. Oh, There's a, uh, a barrel on empty on stand. I wonder if you can if you can actually use that as a container, because when I found them in the world, it wasn't interactable. Hmm. But but some mods that will have a system where you can't necessarily use something in the world, but if you craft it and place it, you can. Right. All right. We need to do something for food. Yeah, I think I may have left some food there. Nope, I brought it with me. Nice. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I've got a, I'm actually pretty far away from you now. Um, I've really been moving. But now I need to get some water, so I'm kind of in trouble, so... Yeah, that's... Wow, that's really nice, actually. I really I don't want to find one of these new biomes. Right, so we're gonna swap you for you. And did we put paper in there? No, did we put paper in there? Oh, we'll put paper in there. That's fine. All of the stuff we're not using, we're gonna just drop off in here. Actually, I'm gonna hold on to the gold. There it is. And where did we put the rest of Oh, I used all the torches. I placed them all upstairs. Uh -huh. So I'm glad there's more water in the game. Um, when I was doing my playthrough so far, I have not found much. Um, so which direction is the water from camp? North? North, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try drinking from the uh, the wild water. And... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do now, too, because I'm... Well, I'm not doing well. Let's put it that way. Yeah, I'm in need of food and water. Ugh, get out of my face, sand. Yeah, I don't think you can... Oh, there, no, never mind. I got dysentery. Hmm. I guess I'll die. Oh, there's some honey back at the, uh, the house. Oh, I'll never get to it in time. Well, maybe I will. Never say never. Never say never. Just pick up. That's Actually, I may be fine. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see here. What's my body temperature doing here? We are at 52%, and I've got dysentery 1. I've got 40 minutes. Nice. Reminds me, we're at 40 minutes right now, or something I'm recording on my... Yeah, 38, but, you know, it's all good. All right. Let's pick up this. And we have... Oh, no, I'm on fire. No! Well, they should not die of cold. <laughs> no. Uh, I thought I was far enough away, but turns out I wasn't. Okay, well, I guess I better keep moving. That's usually a good rule of thumb. Mm -hmm. So there, there is honey in the uh, one of the chests downstairs. So if you make it back to the the house, yeah. Um, I'm and thinking I might be able to find. There's a thing over there. A. Tree stump. Oh, there's another tree stump. Honey! Eat! Uh, nope. Didn't do anything to my dysentery, Hal. Um, that sucks. Sorry, Joan. 
Um, let's see here. If I can only find a cooking pot, I can maybe survive this. Boop. Nobody lives here. Hmm, good. Oh, they do now. All right. So... I just found a workbench. Nice. Yeah. Apparently I can make... This is where apparently you can make the leather things. Now, did I get rid of my shoe? I did. Let's craft that. <coughs> so I hear a dog or something outside, so that's not good. Come back! Come back! I'm trying to harvest you! Come back! <laughs> Mark this as an outpost. Oh, that was bad. I probably shouldn't use the pitchfork. Right. I got two meat and four wool from it. Nice. Oh, I didn't mean to pitchfork it. I, I didn't realize it was dead. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, so, yeah, this one has that, and we've got... Hmm. Wait a second. B? Ah, of course, I am almost dead now. <laughs> Oh, uh, do I? Did I put a bedroll down? I don't think I put a bedroll down. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna head back to the house and put a bedroll in. Um, yeah. It's real weird. It's like I made. Hmm. I thought I made a helmet, a hide helmet, but I can't seem to see it on my inventory. <laughs> did you already put it on? <laughs> It's definitely not on my person. So maybe you have to be yeah, yeah, in yeah. the actual... Um, in the workbench when it finishes, otherwise maybe you'll lose it. That'll be something oh, no. to investigate. Yeah, you know, we definitely need to check some stuff out, but as you were pointing out earlier, we have been here for a while. We're up to 42 on my count. Okay. We want to go ahead and call this one here, and then, uh... Yeah, I think so. All, All right. right. Um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed the episode, uh, hit that like button. And if you are new to either of our channels and are enjoying them, you should uh, hit the subscribe button. And, um, yeah, maybe check out uh, Hal's channel and see all the great content he produces. And, um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye from me. <laughs> if you're watching from my side, be sure to, to pay a visit to Adredden. Uh, as he said, you know, a lot of good, a lot of great content on both channels. And I think you'd probably enjoy hanging out with him. He's a really good guy and uh, thanks lots of good content. So anyway, on that note, I seem to be bugged out now. Okay. I'm gonna, ooh, oh, what is that? Did you put a bed? You put a bed roll down in the uh, the house. Yeah. I think I just claimed the, a different house. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I just I just put a bed roll down in a different house. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna get out of here. Hope you all have a day. Have a terrific week, and we'll see you back here next time for more Seven Days to Die Medieval Mod. As always, folks, take care and be safe out there, everybody. Bye bye. Guys, so we found some dragons. Oh man. I don't know how I can fight them. I guess I got a slingshot. So. Nope, they killed me. <laughs> Did yeah, you start the fight? Or? No, I was standing there. I was just standing there um, looking for the. <clears throat> and I hear this. I turn around and I'm doing fire. Yeah. You know what I should okay. do? Just make a bed roll. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least we're close enough that, you know, we're not... Ow! 
Yeah, weren't you the one that was saying that this was a better, like, a more defensible spot? <laughs> <laughs> well, dragons change everything, don't they? Okay, so... Yeah, there's one dragon quite a ways from you. Did you find your bag? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's one up on the hill oh, over there. Oh god. Run! Run! So is this thing loaded? It is loaded. <coughs> Come here, buddy. <laughs> he is not happy with you. Mm, no. Whoa, what was that? That was a blunderbuss that I picked up off the orc. Nice. Oh, nice. Slingshot at him. Oh, man, that is such a cool picture. I just wish I could have taken the screenshot of that. It was like a dragon silhouette on the sun. Nice. Making sure there's not another one over here again. crispy am I gonna get here um it actually doesn't seem like it does too much consec uh, like consecutive damage mm hmm it's just an annoyance I can't seem to hit the damn thing now yeah. there it is cloth is actually kind of important Hmm. Ow, 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 ow. I'm gonna kill that thing if it's the last thing I do. Yeah. I hit it a couple of times. Yeah. 